All right, this is a um, how to apply the harmonic minor scale to a, to a cool progression. So we're going to start this progression in A minor, and then we're going to apply the harmonic scale. Um, I'm going to go over the harmonic scale with you. This is a double harmonic scale. We're going to start on the sixth string, fifth fret with our first finger. So we're playing the fifth, seventh, and eighth frets with the first, third, and fourth fingers. Okay, do the exact same thing on the fifth string. Give you a screenshot of that. Now, if you've seen some of my videos before, we've, we've done harmonic minors. And um, this one's starting in a different position. That's a double harmonic, so. And for those of you who don't know what the harmonic minor is, it's a, it's a minor with a raised seventh. So in the key of A minor, there are no sharps and flats. The seventh note in the key of uh, <clears throat> A minor is G, so it's a G sharp. So anytime you're playing a harmonic minor, just know that you're raising the seventh. Once again, we're starting on the sixth string, fifth fret. Play the fifth, seventh, and eighth frets on the first two strings with your first, third, and fourth fingers. Now, on the fourth string with your second finger, you're going to play that, play that, that um, <clears throat> raised seventh. So, in A minor, that's the G sharp. Okay? And that's on the fourth string, sixth fret with your second finger. With your third finger on the seventh fret, fourth, fourth string, Play that other uh, A note. So that's an octave ahead. So it's one, three, four, one, three, four, two, three. And you can keep going. So on the third string, fourth fret with your first finger, fifth fret with your second finger. This is on the third string, seventh fret with your fourth finger. Now we'll play the fifth and sixth frets with your second and third fingers on the second string. There's your harmonic note again, your raised seventh on the fourth fret, um, first string. That, that, of course, is the G sharp, which is in the key of A minor. Finish up on the A. Fifth fret, first string, second finger. Okay, now this progression is awesome. I may introduce a couple of new chords to some people, but they're not very difficult to play. It seems like it's hard, but it's not at all. So you're going to see the chord diagram there as well. We're going to be doing some arpeggiating. We simply have an A minor C, B minor 7 flat 5, then three versions of a, of a diminished chord. G sharp diminished. A little circle means diminished. And I'll, I'll show you that again. So let's go to an open A minor. You're going to hit the fifth string. Strum it. Then we're going to play a nice little walk-in. Open fifth string, second fret, third fret. Make that C. Open C chord. Okay. And you're going to play... 2nd fret, 3rd fret, make it that C chord, and you're going to hit the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. This is what we have so far. Open A minor, open A, strum, walk in with the C. Now we're going to play that B minor 7 flat 5. And we're just playing all the inside strings. Well, it's a mouthful to say, but it's a very easy chord to play because you're playing like a D shape and you're adding your fourth finger. So here's an open D. Just go down the strings, okay? Instead of playing the third, second, and first strings, you're going to go down two strings, actually. So you're going to put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger, on the fourth string, third fret, second finger, fourth string, second fret, fourth finger, second string, third fret. And just play the fifth, fourth, third, 
and second strings. So we'll take it from the beginning again. This might be a little difficult and intimidating at first, and I can assure you that it's, it's not hard at all. Okay? It's like a D, starting on the fifth string, adding your fourth finger on the third fret second string. That D that would start on the fifth string, okay? Same fret. So here we go from the beginning. Open A note. Walk into the C. Hit that open E string, sixth string. Now we're gonna keep the same shape for the B minor seven flat five and just move it so your first finger will be on the fourth string third fret. And you keep that same shape. You're gonna strum it from all four strings, all right? Keep the same shape. All right, so what I want you to do, let me show you this again. All right, we, we've done this measure, this measure, and this measure. Now, let the fourth finger, your fourth finger, be your root for this. So this one's going to be shaped just like that. It's over here. You can see the diagrams. Okay, here's a minor 7 flat 5. Let me indicate that for you. Big mouthful. And this one is the diminished. Not hard at all. It's going to make your playing so much more expansive. So you have the minor 7 flat 5 and the, the, the diminished. But let your fourth finger rule. So your fourth finger is going to be guiding you. And for that first diminished chord, your fourth finger is on the first string, fourth fret. Then we're going to move up with the same shape, the exact same shape, same strings to the seventh fret. So keep the same shape. Your fourth finger is going to be on the seventh fret. And then your fourth finger is going to go to the tenth fret. So you're going to go from the fourth to the seventh to the tenth, strumming the fourth string down. Here we go again with that progression. B minor 7 flat 5. All the middle strings. Open 6th string. Diminished. Strum it. Just strum it. Pinkies on the 4th fret. Pinkies on the 7th fret. Then pinkies on the 10th fret. Then we, what we have is we have... This little phrase, which is part of your A minor, your A harmonic minor, your A harmonic minor scale. And all we're going to do is play fifth and fourth frets, and then fifth and sixth frets. Fifth and fourth with your second and first fingers on the first string, move up to the second string, sixth and fifth with your second and third fingers. Now on the third string, seventh fret, four. Go to the uh, fifth fret, same string on the third string with your second finger. Then finally stop on the fourth fret, third, um, third string. Here we go, again. Fourth finger, seventh fret, fourth string. Third finger, sixth fret, fourth string. Now we go up to the seventh fret, fifth string, then the seventh fret. So you can make a little bar on the fifth and fourth strings on the seventh fret with your fourth finger. And that's gonna go. If you want, you can put a little harmonic right there on the fourth string, seventh fret. So here's the whole progression.
Okay, a little variation there at the end. Um, here's our scale. Okay, then you can play around with that. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Take another screenshot of that. Here's the A harmonic minor. Here's your progression along with a part of the A minor, uh, the A harmonic minor scale. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.